Superman of science And he loves to play with fire And the things you do You can do If you so desire Do try this at home With Mr. T Hello and welcome back to Do Try This at Home. Do Try This at Home is the show that takes ordinary household items and turns them into something extraordinary. I'm your host, Mr. G, and today on Do Try This at Home, we're going to be blending science and a little bit of optometry. That's right. Not everyone out there is going to be able to actually do this little experiment, I'm sad to say, but a lot of you will be able to, more so than might even think you're able to. How many of you out there wear glasses so that you can see better? I do, and I don't always wear my glasses. Sometimes you see me with them on, and sometimes you see me with them off. But when you see me with them off, you'll often see me squinting. Why am I doing this? Well, when people have trouble seeing and do not have corrective lenses, they squint a lot to try to see things either that are far away or close up to them. If they have trouble seeing things that are far away, it's known as nearsightedness. They can see things close up, but they can't see things that are far away. That's being nearsighted. Now, you can also be farsighted. You can see things great far away, but you can't see things close up to you at all. Or you have a lot of trouble seeing things close up. Now, corrective lenses are made so that the lens in your eye gets a little bit of help and can focus the light rays where they're supposed to be focused, not behind or in front of where they're supposed to be focused, which is the case in nearsightedness and farsightedness. But lenses aren't the only way to correct this condition, and I'm here to show you a really cool experiment that will make you see more clearly if you have trouble with your vision, or at least it should. We're going to need an index card. We're going to need either a large pin or a small nail. I prefer a small nail. It makes a cleaner, rounder hole in our index card. You're also gonna to wanna to print out an eye chart. Now where can you get an eye chart like this? You can go to www.mrgme, that's M-R-G-M-E dot com, front slash eye test. And I've got that right down here in the description of the video, right along with mindlessmirth.com pretty funny blog of mine that I hope you visit too. Now, to get started, we're going to take our nail and our index card and I'm going to poke a hole right near the top center of our index card like this. Now you can experiment with what size holes work best for your eyes. Once I get that hole poked in the index card with the nail, you'll see I've got a very small hole in the index card. Now, I've got an eye chart just like this one Print it out and sitting over on my kitchen counter over here. Now, if I have it up close, I can read every line on it. When I look at the one over there without my glasses, I can only read, I can't read the bottom three lines. In fact, the very bottom line, it doesn't even look like there's anything there. Now, if I put my glasses on, I can read pretty much everything on this eye chart. Now, I'm going to take my glasses off and I'm going to take a look at the eye chart through our pinhole in our index card. Closing one eye, I look through the pinhole, and wow, it's every bit as good, actually better, I think. It's amazing. It's every bit as good, the focus of that eye chart is every bit as good as when I wear my glasses. You've got to try this for yourself. This is an amazing experiment. Now, a lot of you may find out that you actually need glasses. You may print out this eye chart, and when you print this out, there's instructions on how far away to place it from you as well, how to figure that out. Now, a lot of you might print out the eye chart and you might be looking at it on the correct distance and you might be going, I can't read those bottom lines. Maybe I need glasses. Well, if you hold our little pinhole card up to your eye, try both eyes, one and then the other, you may find that everything becomes clearer and you'll go, wow, I need glasses and I didn't even know I needed them. Now, if you wear glasses or in either far-sighted or near-sighted situation, and you need corrective lenses for that, you're going to find that looking through the pinhole will also help your vision. This is only to a point, though. If you have very thick glasses and you have extremely bad vision, the pinhole may not help you that much. For people with mild near-sighted or far-sightedness, you're going to find that our little friend, the pinhole, actually helps you quite a bit. How does it work? Well, 
It narrows the light beams that are entering the eye. Normally you have a large flooding of light beams when they bounce off of an object that enter your eye, and your lens then is way out of focus and scattering a lot more of those light beams on the back of your eye where you actually have your optic nerve where you can see. By narrowing the beams, the focus becomes more centered on the back of your eye, and you have less of a hard time, your brain does anyway, discerning what's in or out of focus. So I hope you give this a try, and I hope that you have a lot of fun with it. I'm Mr. G, and I'll see you next time right here on Do Try This at Home! I can see you. I can see all of you very clearly. index card. Dang it. There we go. And we'll just start that over. That was Post Mr. G. And do try this at home. It's blah, blah, blah. One more of those. I'm your host, Mr. G. And do's try... Do's. Mm. Do try this at home. That was like a bat... That was Almost an opposite hand gesture. I'm your host, Mr. G, and today on a, on a Do Try This at Home? Dang it! Well, today the experiment we're going to do isn't for everyone. Why does the refrigerator have to run every time I get a good tape going? I'll take a break and wait for the refrigerator to stop running because it makes so much dang noise in the background. I've got to find a way to block. I've got to find... Think of a way to block all the noise behind the camera because I'm getting sick of having to... Mm -hmm. Maybe. Okay. Oh, it's still on.